Hello everyone, welcome to Inside Talk Show. I'm Carla Elizondo. We're continuing the reading of Neville Goddard's Feeling is the Secret. We're on page two of chapter one, The Law and Its Operation, continuing from yesterday. The subconscious does not originate ideas, but accepts as true those which the conscious mind feels to be true, and in a way known only to itself, objectifies the accepted ideas. Therefore, through this through our power to imagine and feel, therefore, through our mat, our power to imagine and feel, and our freedom to choose the idea we will entertain, we have control over creation. Did you hear that? Therefore, through our power to imagine and feel our freedom to choose the idea that we will entertain, we have control over creation. Control of the subconscious is accomplished through control of our ideas and feelings. The mechanism of creation is hidden in the very depth of the subconscious. Remember, our conscious and our subconscious. The mechanism of creation, remember the womb of creation where our heart of hearts is, our psyche, our subconscious? The mechanism of creation is hidden in the very depths of the subconscious the female aspect or the womb of creation. The subconscious transcends reason. The subconscious transcends, it goes beyond reason, beyond logic. We can bust out of the logical. We must be illogical. We had a really good reading of U squared. If you're following me and Jennifer Tini's reading of Price Pritchett's U squared, we're on chapter six today, talking all about that. It should be live streamed later tonight, or it'll be here saved. The subconscious transcends reason and is independent of induction. So the subconscious is not susceptible. Um, it can't choose. The subconscious cannot choose. Just like the soil doesn't choose which seed, we choose the seed. Our subconscious is the seed, subconscious is the soil. The soil, the subconscious will take whatever is given to it. The soil does not say, mm, that's poisonous, I don't want to grow that. No, it grows it. It doesn't care. It's impersonal. That's why it's so important to pay attention to what you're saying because your subconscious is like, all right, just keeps taking your orders. Okay, so the subconscious transcends reason and is independent of induction. It contemplates a feeling as a fact existing within itself and on the assumption proceeds to give expression to it. So the subconscious just takes the feeling, right? Our heart of hearts. It just takes whatever you're emotionally involved in as fact. And it just works to get results, put it in the outside world, objectify it. So the subconscious contemplates a feeling as fact, as a fact existing within itself. And on this assumption proceeds to give expression to it. The creative process begins with an idea and its cycle runs its course as a feeling and ends in a volition to act. We talked about that before, cognitive behavioral therapy, that triad, the feel, the thinking, feeling, acting. And this is really something that represents that so well. That's why I love this and I use it all the time to explain our emotions, our thoughts, and then what results in, R stands for results, the actions in our life, the, the results in our life. So it says the creative process begins with an idea, remember? This is idea. The creative process begins with an idea and its cycle runs its course as a feeling you get emotionally involved with it. And ends with a volition to act. It goes down into the body and then you act and then you get results. That's how the process works. Ideas are impressed. So ideas are impressed onto the subconscious mind or heart of hearts through the medium of feeling. So you can have all the ideas you want. We talked about this yesterday. You can have all the ideas you want, but it will not go down to the next level. You can have all the ideas you want, all the ideas you want here in the conscious thinking mind. Ideas are impressed on the subconscious mind through a medium of feeling. But if your heart's not in it, it will never pass down to your heart and it'll never go into your body and then it'll never, you'll never take action on it. So everything in here, right? If we, this is where everything we study is. You can read a book 
on how to do something, but not everybody does it. If education and knowledge was all you needed, we would be very smart. We would really have different changes. That's why it can be so confusing and frustrating to say people know, but why are things still the same? Because they haven't become emotionally involved in it. Ideas are impressed on the subconscious through the medium of feeling. No idea, none, no idea can be impressed on the subconscious until it's felt. But once it's felt, once it's here in the heart, be it good, bad, or indifferent, it must be expressed. Feeling is the one and only medium through which ideas are conveyed to the subconscious. Therefore, the man who does not control his feeling may easily impress the subconscious with undesirable states. By control of feeling is not meant restraint or suppression of your feeling, but rather the disciplining of self to imagine and, ent and entertain only such feelings as contributes to your happiness. I'm so happy he made this point. A lot of this space of, you know, psychology, personal development, positive psychology, really think positive, think positive. A lot of people push back and say that is just bypassing. That is negative or positive toxicity, all these words, right? And I agree if they're not doing it properly. We must control. We are in control. Like I said before, we can't always control the thoughts that come in. We're human. We get triggered. But when they once they're in, we can definitely control if we are going to go down that rabbit hole, take them to dinner for a cup of coffee, keep talking about it with our friends. Venting is not processing. <laughs> processing and dealing with stuff is a party of one with your eyes closed in the quietness of your mind. By control of feeling is not meant restraint or suppression of your feeling, but rather the disciplining of self to imagine and entertain only such feeling that contributes to your happiness. And by processing, I hope you know what I meant. Yes, telling somebody else, a therapist or family or telling your truth. But what I meant is venting to just vent and not get to the roots of it, that's not processing venting that's just pouring gasoline on the fire telling your story in a safe space to for healing purposes that's what i meant i know you know what i meant y'all by control so by control of the feeling just controlling your feeling isn't saying that we're restraining or suppressing actual feelings that are there because your feelings are valid all feelings are valid but it's rather disciplining ourselves to imagine and entertain only the things that contribute to our happiness. That's called mental health. Do the bad thing exist? Yes. Does trauma and crazy, bad, terrible things exist? Yes. Does pain exist? Yes. Are we perpetrated on by people and things? Yes. We cannot, for our own mental health, afford to continue to hold on, ruminate, 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 ruminate for years. Months, weeks, days. There is, of course, a grieving process. There's processes to all things, but really find out what that process is um, and seek help if you need it, because this just erodes our mental health and our inner peace, really. It's about inner peace. I mean, who doesn't want that? And like I said yesterday, if you're wondering if why things aren't processing, why you're not healing, or something just continues to bother you, right? You're in a state, the, there's a disturbance in the force, you feel a little off center, you don't feel well. Sit quietly with yourself and ask. And I just truly feel like the real answers you already have all the answers within you. You don't need anybody's help. You might get like a dive, you know, a springboard from like a therapist or something, but getting quiet with yourself and really listening. If you ask yourself that question, you will get an answer and it's scary and it's hard. So yes, have people hold your hands until you can do it on your own, but really the answer is going to come from you. You're the expert of your life. Yeah. So all feelings are valid and this is not just to suppress them but it's just to not 
give them a stage to dance on all over us to the effect of us just losing all of our power, getting more upset. It's like putting gasoline on the fire when we're not in control. It's like it literally is a wildfire. Control of your feeling is all important to a full and happy life. Never entertain an undesirable feeling, nor think sympathetically about wrong in any shape or form. Do not dwell on the imperfection of yourself or others. To do so is to impress the subconscious with these limitations. Do not dwell on the imperfection of yourself or others. Why? Because the subconscious only reads feeling, remember? So if you're feeling any type of way about anybody else, your subconscious doesn't know you're thinking about someone else. They just, you're just marinating in the feeling, a negative feeling, a judgmental feeling, an angry, resentful feeling about somebody else. It just, it just feels anger, resentment, blame, and it plays out in your life, in your body. It doesn't know that you're thinking about yourself or someone else. It doesn't matter. That's why it says not just about yourself. Don't focus on the imperfections, but don't focus on the imperfections of anybody else because your body doesn't know the difference. There was a great thing. I don't know if I shared this story, but about Tiger Woods, he was in an interview and someone who was asking him like just one of the tricks he uses and he goes, every time I'm at the hole at the, you know, putting hole or whatever, I just picture the ball going into the hole before I before I swing the ball into the hole ball into the hole. And when I'm my opponents up, all I picture is ball going into the hole ball going into the hole and the guy's like, Why would you do that? It's your opponent. He goes, my I don't my mind doesn't know the difference between ball going into the hole. And then when I'm watching my opponent, no, oh, don't go into the hole. I don't want to send any mixed messages. I always want the ball to go in the hole. I don't care if it's me, them or anybody else because I'm the only one responsible for me. That's a really good lesson. I loved that lesson. So ball in the hole, everybody winning. Me winning, everybody winning because my subconscious doesn't know the difference. So I'm just gonna stay in a state of winning for me and everyone else. Think the best of yourself and everyone else. It'll help. So do not dwell on the imperfection of yourself or others. To do so is to impress the subconscious with these limitations. What you do not want done unto you, do not feel that it is done unto you or another. This is the whole law of a full and happy life. Everything else is commentary. Every feeling makes a subconscious impression. Every feeling, every feeling makes a subconscious impression. And unless it is counteracted by a more powerful feeling of an opposite nature, it must be expressed. The dominant of two feelings is the one expressed. I am healthy is a stronger feeling than I will be healthy. To feel I will be is to confess I am not. I am is stronger than I am not. What you feel you are always, what you feel you are always dominates what you feel you would like to be. Okay, let me read that again. What you feel you are always dominates what you feel you would like to be. Therefore, to be realized, the wish must be felt as a state that is rather than the state that is not. Sensation or feeling precedes manifestation and is the foundation upon which all manifestation rests. Be careful of your moods and feelings, for there is an unbroken connection between your feelings and your visible world. Your body is an emotional filter and bears an unmistakable mark of your prevalent emotions. Emotional disturbances, how many emotional disturbances do you have? We all have them every day. Emotional disturbances, especially suppressed emotions, are the cause of all disease. To feel intensely about a wrong without voicing or expressing that feeling is the beginning of disease. Dis-ease is both in both body and environment. Do not entertain the feeling of regret or failure or frustration or detachment from your objective results in disease. Think feelingly. So think with emotion only on the state you desire to realize. Feeling the reality of the state sought and living and acting on that conviction is the way of all seeming miracles. All changes of expression are brought about through a change of feeling. So all changes of the outer world are brought first through a change of your feeling inside. 
A change of feeling is a change of destiny. A change of feeling is a change of destiny. All creation occurs in the domain of the subconscious. All creation occurs here first. Remember, this was first in someone's mind. Now it's here in our hands. All creation occurs in the, do the domain of the subconscious. What you must acquire then is a reflective control, is a reflective control of the operation of the subconscious. That is control of your ideas and feelings. Chance or accident is not responsible for the things that happen to you, nor is predestined fate, the author of your fortune or misfortune. Your subconscious impresses your subconscious impressions determine the conditions of your world. The subconscious is not selective. It is impersonal and no respecter of persons. The subconscious is not concerned with the truth or falsity of your feeling. It always accepts as true that which you feel to be true. Something stood out to me. So your subconscious impressions determine the conditions of your world. And as of right now, I apply that to 18 and up. I'm not sure if I fully, you know, children, young children are who's so impressionable and they don't have those faculties of conscious, real conscious, logical thinking yet. They're just open vessels who are easily victimized. Um, I, as of right now, don't believe and, and I don't think anybody does. So really when I read this and I think when Neville writes this, He's talking about conscious thinking adults, fully functioning adults, because people who are vulnerable or incapacitated in any way um, definitely can fall into circumstances that I'm not sure fully come from their thoughts, but that's a whole nother topic. But that just stood out to me right now. So the subconscious is not selective. It is impersonal and no respecter of persons. The subconscious is not concerned with the truth or falsity of your feeling. It always accepts as true that which you feel to be true. Feeling is the ascent of the subconscious to the truth of that which is declared to be true. Because of this quality of the subconscious, there is nothing impossible to man. Whatever the mind, whatever our mind can conceive and feel as true, the subconscious can and must objectify. Your feelings create the pattern from which your world is fashioned, and a change of feeling is a change of pattern. All right, we're almost done. We got one more day of this, chapter one. I hope you enjoyed that. It was a quick little read today. I hope it was quick. Um, he's just really, this is such a good book. If you didn't hear, yesterday was the first day. So just follow along with these readings and you will have heard the whole book and you can listen to it over and over or get the book yourself. Feeling is a Secret by Neville Goddard. It is just a wonderful reminder and repeat, repeat, repeat. So we do this. If you're experiencing anything in your life that you're not happy with, um, anything that's bothering you, anything that's triggering you, it's there. Just try this as an experiment for the next couple days only think of what you want don't think of how you can change the current situation that's seemingly out of your control focus on your positive qualities and everybody else's and think only on the things that you want with feeling if it's in a like a guided meditation like playing a movie on your the screen of your mind imagining something that makes you really happy maybe just daydream a future trip um dreams you have goals you have in the future allow yourself to get into a really heightened emotional state of positive feeling do that for the next couple of days i'm sure your your vibration will shift by vibration i just mean your emotional state because whatever emotions we have give off an energy and that's vibration vibrational energy vibes you we say it all the time Good vibes, bad vibes, high vibes, low vibes. Yeah. As always, have a wonderful week. If you have any questions or a wonderful day, I'll see you tomorrow. If you have any questions, click the link in my bio. I would love to answer any questions you have. Hop on a free call. Um, consult about any services I offer, and I would love to meet you. Have a wonderful day.